Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to continue to talk about the chain rule. And as you can see here for this function, we have a x score plus three inside this ln function. And then this ln is adding the four and then all that is being put inside another ln function. So uh, we got to use chain rule multiple times for this function. Um, let's get started. First, we are going to write down f prime of x, right? So what do we get here? We need to start differentiating the outermost function. Let me highlight the outermost function right here. Um, the outermost function is this one, right? So it's the ln with all that stuff in there. So we are going to be getting, when we differentiate, we are going to be getting one over, okay? It's one over whatever that's inside the ln function, right? So let me put that here. And then all that stuff on the inside, right? So let's just put it in there. We have ln of x squared plus 3 and then plus 4. So I put everything that's inside this ln function in the denominator. So we have 1 over all that. Okay. And then now times. Okay. Now multiply. Multiply by the derivative of this expression right here. Okay. So we have, um, let me put a pair of brackets right here because we may need to use parentheses. We're not sure yet, so if you're not sure, sometimes it's a good idea to just use, uh, just put a pair of brackets or parentheses there, just in case, right? Okay, now let's differentiate this term right here. The four is going to become zero, so we can we only need to focus on differentiating this ln of x squared plus three. So what happens is that we are going to be differentiating this ln function. There is also an inner function inside this ln, but we don't need to worry about it for now. We only want to focus on differentiating this ln. So it's going to look like, let me just highlight this ln right here. It's going to look like one over, going to be one over. Okay, what do we put inside the function? We have x squared plus three. Okay, and then we are going to be getting, um, the four is going to become zero, so we don't need to worry about it anymore. Um, we would need to now multiply by the derivative of the inner function, which is the derivative of the x squared plus three. So let me highlight that one, x squared plus three. So what is that? That's going to be just two x, right? That's simple, okay? And in fact, because there is only one turn right here, we do not really need um, this pair of brackets, but we put it there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so just leave it for now. Um, yeah, so this, this problem is basically done, but sometimes we want to clean up the answer. So to make it better, we are going to just rewrite so that we have a uh, the 2x at the top, right? The, the numerator. And then that's the only numerator here. There are no other stuff in the numerator. And then now what do we have um, at the bottom? There are a lot of stuff that we have at the bottom. We are going to be getting this x squared plus three. So let's just put that x squared plus three. Okay. And then we also need to put the green expression, right? So we are going to be putting this here, ln of x squared plus three and then plus four. Now, just be careful here. It's really clear that we have two factors multiplied together because I use different colors right here. But if you're doing it with pencil or pen, you probably don't have different colors for this ones, right? So now, even though you feel like you can tell that they, they are different factors, but there is something that's really important that's missing. This expression that I'm putting down here is basically wrong, right? So what do we need in here? You make sure that you put parentheses. It's really important that you put parentheses, even for this one, because there are two turns right here. And so instead of just multiplying this red expression with the ln, we also need to multiply that with the four. So make sure that you put parentheses to surround them. And then that will be our final answer. And then I think this two X is just, yeah, move it lower. Okay, so when you're doing the chain rule, it's actually uh, important that you start with the outermost function and then you start moving inward. Okay, so just do it step by step, then it will be fine. Just keep multiplying by um, the derivative of the inner function. Okay, so that's it for this problem. 
If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you next time.